If your Premiere Pro uh, crashes or gives you this error, there are a few ways to uh, resolve the issue. When you get this error, just ignore it. Move it away somewhere there, for example, and keep working. And normally you should be fine. Obviously, make sure that you've got autosave enabled every maybe five minutes or however often you want. Because uh, if you click this, it will uh, close and crash no matter what you do. So here we go. Now, if I start, if I open it normally, it will crash probably in a moment. So I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so it, okay, it, it crashed. Okay, and uh, now uh, I'm on uh, Windows Insider program. So these are my updates. So for some people, some of you, this might be important, but generally I don't think that should matter very much, but who knows, who knows? It's good to actually investigate. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Alt and start Premiere Pro and I'm still holding the Alt button, yeah? So unfortunately I need to wait. Okay, now I've got this. So what I do, I disable, third-party plugins and th that will usually solve the issue. Uh, you can also try resetting uh, the cache, clearing the media cache and also you could reset app preferences but remember this may not solve the problem and it will cause you you know a lot of trouble you will need to create your preferences again. So I do this as a last resort. It didn't work for me this time so I just do disable this and I click continue and uh, that allows me to load the Premiere Pro. I do get an error. Okay, uh, this usually happens the second time I do it, but if I restart my computer and I uh, do what I just showed, then I get Premiere Pro with that error uh, box that I can move to the corner of um, the desktop or somewhere and I can then continue working with Premiere Pro. Another thing I forgot to mention is actually uh, Windows security. So uh, you need to go to Windows security. You can usually go from it from the uh, account uh, window. So let me see, I'm going to open this. Click on privacy and security and Windows security. Or I can type security here or type security, Windows security in my start menu. Then I get this window. Then I go to device security and then core isolation. So I go to core isolation and I disabled those two things. Again, you may need to restart your computer. So try actually one at a time. Try one, wait a minute or two, start Premiere Pro, start uh, with the old button option uh, and check the options. Uh, so uh, disabling the plugins, for example, third party plugins, then try the other option, do the same thing. Wait a, wait a minute or two just in case, do the same thing, then restart your computer and try again. Also Microsoft vulnerable driver block list. So let me try this. For example, I haven't done this before. This I didn't see before. I've restarted the computer. Now this option is, is activated. So let's see if I start Premiere Pro now. Okay, loading, okay. Now it crashes. Now let me try with the old option. So I'm holding old button again. Okay, let's see, disable third-party plugins, reset plugin loading cache. Let's do this just in case as well. No, it's still crashed. Um, so I'm, I'm going just to restart my computer and uh, load Premiere Pro with the uh, Alt option, the disabling the third-party plugins. So that's what seems to be working for me, a workaround. You know, there I still get the error message, but I can work with Premiere Pro. So um, I hope you resolve your issues, you know, let me know if you know some other ways. Uh, big thanks. Cheers. Bye.